Hello and welcome to News at Noon. I'm Aftab Borka. Yes, it's happening again. Get ready for up to six inches of snow starting this afternoon into tomorrow morning. Reporter Monica Drake is keeping an eye on the snowstorm that's heading our way. Monica, what's happening? Well, although the commute was clear this morning, it will be a completely different story this afternoon. A snowstorm could create whiteout conditions um, right during rush hour traffic this evening. And um, the, it's supposed to be rain and sleet, which starts at noon today. And then this will change into completely snow at 4 p.m. This will accumulate to 6 to 8 inches of snow and with winds up to 35 miles an hour, which will have a quarter visibility rate when driving home tonight. Overnight, there will be three inches of snow that could accumulate, which is a half an inch an hour. So if you are driving tonight or tomorrow morning, be careful. And if you can, stay indoors because the roads are expected to be treacherous. All right, Monica, thank you. And the snow is part of a bigger storm that's been plowing through much of the central parts of the U.S. Details in this report by the Associated Press. Many school districts in Kansas are closed Tuesday, and a state of emergency is in effect in Kansas City as a huge winter storm moves into the area. Parts of Kansas are preparing for anywhere between 8 inches and 2 feet of snow by Tuesday morning. The storm dropped huge amounts of snow on North Texas and Oklahoma Monday. Amarillo recorded 19 inches of snow, just short of a Texas record for snowfall in a 24-hour period. Powerful winds, including a 75-mile-an-hour gust, made conditions even more unbearable. The National Weather Service reported that at one point up to 100 vehicles were stranded on Interstate 27 in Texas. The snow forced officials in Oklahoma to close all highways in the Panhandle and much of the state's northwest. A group of high school students from Milford are in trouble after they posted a video of them doing Harlem Shake in their classroom. Reporter Megan Semraz has more details on that. Megan, take it away. At least 30 students were suspended for three to five days at Milford High School after they made a video in a classroom of them doing the Harlem Shake. Some of the students have also been suspended from other activities like basketball and the Honor Society. The video was posted on YouTube. And according to school officials, there was also a second video that was posted on the YouTube channel but was later deleted. The second video contained racially insensitive comments, according to the school official. The students also lied to get into the classroom, according to the school, um, which is against school policy. And they also brought a pet duck into the classroom to use into the Harlem Shake video. Um, the their animals are prohibited from being in the classroom, except if it's a service animal. A spokeswoman called the um, video to vulgar and indecent, so that's why the students were suspended. All right, Megan, thank you very much. Well, it looks like middle school students are doing some more serious stuff, playing with robots and learning science and technology in Birmingham. Roy J. Akers has more details. During Science Day at Sacred Heart in Bloomfield Hills, a partnership between the Robot Garage in Birmingham and the school set in motion a day where girls could take part in what has been a male-dominated field. The girls directed robots to smash, punch, and dominate their opponents, and this experiment in violence and their science proved to be exciting. Many girls' attitudes quickly changed when they saw the fun unfold before them. Yeah, I mean, at first I was kind of like iffy, but now I really like it. It's fun and cool, and it's actually like a really good learning experience. Like, never really thought about it being like this fun. This day proved to be exciting and a good omen for teachers who believe girls can make significant contributions to the field. For our science day, uh, part of our science day here um, at Sacred Heart, we wanted to bring Science Alive to the girls to enhance our curriculum uh, and to promote lifelong learning. And we thought this would be a great opportunity for the girls to get experience with engineering and get to see beyond concepts maybe that they get to experience every day. For schools looking to add robotics to their programs, girls have a huge advantage and scholarships await those that build their skills. And now Oakland Press sports columnist Pat Caputo with his video blog. Look, Eric, when it comes down to Mike Trout and Miguel Cabrera, you know, the debate is going to be endless. You know, I picked up ESPN, the magazine this week. Well, actually, I get it uh, delivered to my house. And I look at it, it said, war. You know, and it's got a picture of Cabrera and Trout on the, on the cover. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, look at these two players. I mean, they are the best players in baseball. They're the ones that people are debating about all the time. 
the Tigers and Angels very well could be heading to a collision course in the postseason because I think those are the two best teams in baseball. But if you were to ask me, you know, take out the age factor, take out the factor that uh, Trout plays a premier position, take out all these different factors, ask who's going to be the more valuable player in 2013 and, and make me bet on it, I would say Miguel Cabrera because he's a more proven commodity and he's a better hitter, a better pure hitter than Mike Trout. And the value of hitting in baseball, especially when there's such a dearth of it, of great hitters, trumps all. So I think Cabrera is a better player from that standpoint, even not a, though he's not a better overall player than Mike Trout. And that's it for today. Don't forget to watch us tomorrow at theoaklandpress.com. I'm Aftab Borkup. Have a great day and stay warm.